Hey, I just built this accounting AI agent in WhatsApp using no code. We got WhatsApp open. I'm just going to upload a photo of my invoice and drop it into WhatsApp. Hit send. And now we'll see that it is going to download that image. We're saving that file into our folder. We're hitting the OpenAI Image Analyzing API, which is going to take the image, extract the text, and it's going to parse it out. And we just saw that we got a response. It updates our spreadsheet with the invoice. Now I'm just going to send a voice message. Here, drop in the voice saying, Hey, I spent $30 at Subway today for lunch. And now we see that it's downloading the audio. OpenAI node is going to process that and it's going to take the voice, convert it into text and parse it out. Then it's passing through this DeepSeek AI agent for analysis. It will update our spreadsheet. And we got a response here. Logged $30 for Subway for today. And now I'm going to drag over my credit card statement here. Drop it into WhatsApp and hit send. Now we'll see that this accounting AI agent is going to download the file. And now we're hitting the OpenAI Assistant. Great, we got a response and we'll see that all this got populated into our spreadsheet. And we go to our folder, we can see that all the files are here. All right, let's get started. First of all, we have the WhatsApp trigger note here. Uh, you can connect with your WhatsApp or with account. You can search for WhatsApp and the credentials um, on NNN and then paste your client ID and paste your client secret key. Then the next note is to switch. Um, you can search it from here, so switch, okay, and then we will have the rules here, uh, routing rules, just paste this, and then it's equal to audio, um, audio output name, and then we'll have the um, message here, it's equal to image, uh, output name image, and then the type here, also we equals to document, uh, equals document. It means that it's routing the message, whether it is if it is an image, document, or a voice message. So first of all, let's talk about the for uh, the image transaction recording first. Uh, we have a HTTP request note here. All right, and then we are going to use get method. You can just copy and paste this, um, and then choose none for authentication. Enables send headers. Um, and then we use fields below, authorization, bearer, space, and then put your API key. All right. And then we have another note extract from file, extract URL from binary form, extract from JSON, data, data. And then we have another note, which is the HTTP request note. We download image here. We use get method, and we have the JSON data URL here. None as the authentication, enable send headers, and again we have um, specify headers here using fields below authorization, bearer, and then paste your API key. All right, and we will have um, the Google Drive connect here, and we connect with your um, uh, Google Drive account, and then we have the resource file, and operations upload uh, data as an input data field name. And we'll have the invoice and format uh, with the uh, date here. And we'll have the parent drive here. And um, this is the parent folder for your drive. All right. And we will have another note, uh, the OpenAI note here. All right. It's for analyzing the image. We can use this one, image analyzer. Again, connect with your OpenAI account. Uh, use image as your resource and analyze image GPT 4.0. Uh, the test input is like this. Could you extract the following information from the invoice? Let's take a look at this here. 
and entry number, expense date, vendor, expense type, all right, expense description, expense amount, customer name, reference number, return in JSON format, only return the JSON without other text. And then input type, binary files, data, enable, simplify output here, all right? And then we have the notes, uh, we have the notes called um, code, you can search it here, code, all right. And this one, you can copy and paste this in the JavaScript, run once for all items. And then link it to the Google Sheets. You can search it for Google Sheet here. And connect with your accounts, again, and a pen row, and then test invoice, uh, met automatically, okay, which is this, all right. And then we have another uh, OpenAI note here. Okay, it's a message model. Open an account, um, resource which is text message model. We use uh, GPT-4 for the model. Let's take a look at that. We just analyzed an invoice and got following response. Uh, this one is image analyzer and drag and drop this one. Um, because it's not processing now, um, when it is processed, we will have another um, JSON content you can drag and drop from here. Please make a summary and test it back to user and tell him we successfully record um, into the Google Sheets. The reply is just a WhatsApp message. Don't put greeting and footer, um, but keep the point form just like that. And then last but not least, we just output the message to WhatsApp. Okay, copy and paste this phone number. And then recipient phone number. Okay, text, text body. So that's it for the image transaction recording workflow. All right, for the second workflow, um, we have voice transaction recording. Again, we have another HTTP request note here. Basically, it's the same as the one in the in this workflow. This three, this two uh, notes are the same as here. And then we have the download audio, um, get. Uh, JSON data URL again it's the same workflow as well it's just that it is for downloading image it's for downloading the audio and for this one we are going to use OpenAI for the transcription okay OpenAI account audio transcribing transcribe a recording data as the input data field name and we'll add another agent conversation no agent we use DeepSeq um, v3 here okay um, we connect with Together AI, DeepSeq, um, V3. Again, remember to paste your um, base URL here. For Together AI, um, you can just paste your API key using the OpenAI node. So we, you can rename it in Together AI. It's V3. Okay. And then, um, let's see, why is it not... Okay, it doesn't let me to rename. Okay, free three, okay. And then uh, we have another note. Uh, you can search it for code. This one, code. Uh, copy and paste this. It's just for formatting. And then um, we will have another OpenAI note, uh, GPT-4. And it is for... Um, we just analyzed an invoice and got following response. Um, JSON stringify everything. Uh, please make a summary and send it back to your user and tell him successfully recorded to the Google Sheets. And this reply um, is just a uh, what's a message? Don't put greeting in footer, separate food roles for easy reading. Basically, it's the same as the one before. Again, connect with your Google Sheets um, with the invoice um, sheet as well, which is this one. All right, uh, map automatically. Last but not least, we will send the response to WhatsApp. WhatsApp account message send. Um, you should copy and paste it. Remember this uh, first. You need to add this. Send a phone number, recipient phone number. Okay, great. Uh, text body as well. You just copy and paste this. Basically, the form is uh, the same. Um, this is a WhatsApp trigger. We will get the um, relevant data from that 
So um, the sender phone number, recipient phone number. Okay. So that's it for the first transaction recording. Great, for the third workflow, which is to process document, the document transaction recording. And the first few notes, for example, this one, two, three, actually is the same as the previous one. Again, it's to get document, okay. And then uh, put the authorization, the value as bearer, and also the API key. And then um, extract from JSON data, data same as before uh, to just download the document you can rename note here again paste it here paste the uh, key here all right and then we will have the um, Google Drive here um, this is the file name all right um, statement and then the date okay you can see the drive this are the um, the invoice and these are the statements all right and then connect with your my drive and then and then demo you can name it the per folder as the name that you want uh, open AI note uh, open AI file as a resource upload file here as the operation data in the input data field name and then we will have another OpenAI account, but this time we are going to use the assistant. Create an assistant, um, GPT-4 own file assistant. You are a file assistant and will answer user question. Enable knowledge retrieval. And JSON ID as a file's name. Okay, and we will have the initial prompt here. How are we are going to add this, uh, add this fields, this one. And then we just uh, change the name here, initial prompt. <laughs> You are an account uh, assistant um, based on user uploaded files, um, accounting assistant, basically. You are an accounting assistant based on user uploaded file and categorize that as invoice or bank statement. If it is invoice, return the following object. This one. If it is a bank statement, return the following object. Okay. So basically, we will determine if it's an invoice or bank statement and return different values. All right. And we will have um, another note, OpenAI here. Assistant, message and assistant. Um, basically, we created an assistant here. So that's why we are going to use this assistant message, this assistant. Just use this ID and define below for the prompt. Okay. Basically, it's the prompt that we use here. It's referring to the previous node. Use memory connected, 20 as the max entries. And we add the window buffer memory here. We do add 10 and key as one. And we have another edit field here. So as for the content, having the output as here. And then um, this is going to, um, for the formatting. So copy and paste as well. So use this. Um, this node is going to format the output here. So you can see a loop here. What's going on? So we have a if node here. More rows is true. Okay. This one. So if we have more rows for the um, Google uh, Bank statement, it will keep looping and looping, getting more um, data from the bank statement and trying to output the whole completed um, bank statement. And we have the continue prompt, next row, menu mapping, and then continue here. Okay. And when, when it's done, um, no, no more next row, uh, we will just output the message and say all transactions are added to the Google Sheets. Okay, again, phone number and then the recipient phone number here. For this part, we are going to export the data to the Google Sheets. So we have another edit fields here. These are the transactions. So like this. And then split out transactions. So we are going to split out this one. 
All right, and the Google Sheets. So this is the output here. Again, connect your Theo account and uh, pen row um, and an end test statement. This one uh, is the this is the statement sheets and map automatically here. Great, so that's how it works. Um, so this um, accounting AI agent can process your invoice through image, voice, or bank statement or credit card statement through the document transaction recording, or can be done on WhatsApp. You can just upload your documents, upload your image, or upload voice messages to us. This accounting AI agent process through everything for through WhatsApp and store everything on your Google Sheets. If you like to have this template, uh, feel free to join our uh, AndyNoco Premium Community. We provide more than 50 advanced AI agents templates, including this accounting AI agents. And um, we are going to add more and more every single week. And more importantly, we, we are providing tech support, no matter if it is for the faces video automation or any other uh, AI agents that we covered. Uh, you can feel free to let us know in the community post. Uh, we will get back to you as soon as possible to provide you all the support you need to set up your own workflow. As for the any no code API, we provide up to 100 faceless video free rendering uh, every single month. Um, so that's it for today. Hope to see you soon in our any no code community. See you there.